God bless your saints and thank you for coming. I want to introduce you to a new book and a new video that we're doing now um, to help you, the saints of God, the bride of Christ, the sons of God. We've got a great promise to be made manifest through us today. We've heard the voice of the Son of Man and that was a particular ministry that was manifested through William R. Branham. But now it's our turn, the sons of God, as Christ said, that he will make his, his, the word of God manifest to the sons of God in this day. And the dead will hear the voice of the sons of God. And they will rise. Amen. So today I want to introduce you to a new book and a new video recording that I'll be doing. Uh, I'll, I'm doing this altogether different. I've written part of the book already, but I want to... As I write, I want to record it for you, so you can have both together. So, at home, in your private of the privacy of your home, you can listen, you can look at the videos. But when you're on your way to work, uh, when you out and about, you can read the book. Uh, it will be a digital format book, so you can have it on your iPad or your iPhone, whatever format you you want to read in, you can read it. But I, I'm doing this because God has led me to do it. Uh, I don't do anything on my own, with my own ability, with my own leadership. I wait on the leadership of God on what to do. And He shows me how to do it, exactly how to, how to go about doing it and everything. So this new book will be entitled, The Choice is Yours. And He's given me these words. And I want to just introduce you briefly upon it. And tell you how I came to even write the book um, and my a little uh, and through, through this book through this uh, video series I'll be talking about my experience with Christ and how I've come to this place I'll, I'll talk about I'll talk about all other believers experience as well um, but it will fill with experiences and how God is how God is maturing us in him uh, maturity is a, is is a word we use lightly, very loosely, but maturity is literally going through some very trialing experiences. It's going through some very tough experiences, but we've learned um, to forsake our own will and look to the program and to the plan of God, because He's our Father, and He has a plan in store for the sons of God, and it's a true difficult. A difficult avenue we go through um, to develop this character he's given to us he's given us a character by means of the word and he wants to see this character made manifest in our flesh amen and this is not by our own striving our own sacrifice our own um, perseverance those things are good but that's not what makes the word manifest in your life what makes the word manifest and what makes you of character, what makes you manifest the word of God, is based on a promise. It's based on the manifestation of God literally in you, making the word manifest through you. Amen? And you, it's by you yielding to the Spirit of God. And that's what he's here to do. He's here to make the word of God, a promise of God, a great promise, of which I'm going to show you. I've mentioned it um, uh, on, YouTube, on, on Facebook. A few times about the promise of God. It's a great promise. It's a promise that encompasses all the other promises of God. Amen. And I'm, I'm going to go through in the book as well. And I think we're going to have a wonderful time in Christ. Uh, a time of rejoicing in His finished work. It's nothing to do with us, my brother. The only thing is, the only thing, the only part has to do with us is believing on His finished work. The manifestation of the Son of Man is a testimony. Of the finished work of Christ. The reason the Son of Man was able to, uh, when I say the Son of Man, I mean God Himself, the Spirit of God making manifest in a prophet. Okay, I'm not talking about William Man Branham. William Man Branham is a Son of Man, but He's manifesting, He's clothing, He's tabernacling the Son of Man, which is God Himself. Amen. And that ministry is a prophetic ministry speaking, and that ministry does. Does the the resurrection of that ministry is a is a is a sure proof that the work which Christ has done 
is perfect and is acceptable in God, before God. The work that He's done by dying on the cross, cleansing us from our sins, that perfect work is completed and, and, and perfect in Christ. It's already done through Christ. And we see the full manifestation of this victory that He's won for us being made manifest in the ministry of the Son of Man, the resurrection of the Word, um, now being made manifest through all the sons of God. Amen. In the in in the in the Son of God ministry, that's the new ministry we're in at the moment. It's a change of dispensation. It's a dispensation where all the sons of God around the world that's alive, the one that is dead, is being re resurrected, and all the sons of God will be made manifest in this age, one and under one ministry, one. Complete ministry manifesting the full victory of God, amen. And then you'll see it made manifest in the earth and in nature as well, amen. But this ministry is promised before the foundation of the world, and it was promised to the seed of God, amen. It was the promise was reiterated to Abraham, um, first of all, to 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 um, it was told to, to Adam that the seed of the woman shall possess. And shall bruise the the, 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 the the head of the serpent. Uh, it was told to Abraham that his seed shall possess the gates of the enemy. Uh, it was it was it was throughout the ages it's been reiterated, God reaffirming this promise to, to the sons of God. And here again he is in the final age to make the, the, the that promise manifest to us. Amen. So I'm really happy, I'm really excited to, to bring this to you. And this book it, it, it's termed the, the choice is yours because it's a choice of where you want to live. The, 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 now, God has, has called out the people out of the world. He's calling the church. And although they're the church, they're not his bride. Out of the bride, he's chosen the people. He's called out the people out of the bride, out, out, out of, sorry, out of the church, and then he's called his bride. Now, this is a choice. The bride, um, in terms of you yielding to God in terms of you um, manifesting God today, the fullness of God today is a choice. It's up to you. It's what you've come out to the world. You've separated yourself from the world, the things of the world, the glamour, the luxury. You've done this, but that is not what God requires. What, 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 and, and it's not a requirement. It's not, that's not what, what pleases God intensely. What pleases God intensely? Is when you can give to him what he's given back to you. What when you can manifest him fully, amen. So like he went to the to the to the woman at the well. He said, "Bring me a drink." Now that is a demand on the woman. And as she went along speaking about the drink, how he's going to get it, and he set us up. He told her, and this is a key that lots of people miss. He told her, "If you knew." Who is it that speak is speaking to you? Then you would ask of him. In other words, if she knew who was it that was asking her for a drink of water, if she knew who it was that was asking her, she would ask of him for his water. And this water, when one taste of his water, would bring forth in you a fountain of living waters. Amen. So you won't thirst anymore. So, in other words, he wants her to give him water. But he don't want her water. He don't want her to produce this water. He don't want her to go and get from man-made systems of wells and get this water, produce this water. He don't want her to try no effort to give this water. He wants her to ask of him. He wants her to see her need for him. Amen? For his water. The things that he has to give to her. And once she, she can see and recognize her need, because she can get the water that he requires, he's asking her, he, he comes in requiring. And that's what the prophet does. That's the ministry of the Son of Man. He comes requiring something from his children. And it's basically to, to, to manifest the life of God. And that's what the, the prophet was so harsh and so, so tough and so straightforward. The word, you have to meet the requirements of the word. But what God wants... Most of all, it's not that you just repeat the word or try to live the word or try to in your own efforts to manifest the word. What he wants, my brother and my sister, is for you to see your need 
for the finished work. It's for you to see your need for Jesus Christ. For when you see the need, when he asks you for faith, when he asks you for his faith, not your faith, when he asks you for his faith, his virtue, his temperance, his godliness, his patience, amen? When he asks you for this, you, you mustn't try your own self to produce faith. You mustn't try to generate your own strength. You mustn't try to to get your own your knowledge of him, more and more of him. Those are good and those are man made methods of trying to produce God what God requires. But what God wants you to see is your need for him. Say, Lord, I don't have faith. But give me your faith. Show me your faithfulness. Show me your strength. Show me your knowledge. Your plan for me. Show me um, your temperance throughout the ages. How you've been temperate. How you've been. You you won't rush to 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 produce judgment. Show me your patience with us. Amen. When you see his patience, when you see these things, these virtues are his virtues. Amen. When you see these things, it's then was when you see a need for him. Then is when you ask him to give you his his faith. He gives you to the word, but the word must be mixed with faith. The word must 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 the, the Holy Spirit must come and reveal his word to you because it's actually revealing Jesus Christ. Amen. So I'm gonna go through this all throughout the book, and you're gonna I think we're gonna have a wonderful time in the presence of God, and I think um, you're gonna be blessed. Amen. So this is an introduction to the book, and uh, the next part I'm gonna really go into a little more into the book. And uh, the preface of the book, and so I can talk to you more about it. Okay, God bless you, and talk to you soon.